one thing with me is that I am ready for anything. I mean, whatever um, style you have, uh, behavior, habits, tantrums, or I, I work with it. I mean, if it will work for me, I will work around it. But definitely, I will not throw it my, my, my job, my interpretation, just because you are trying to destroy your home. <laughs> That's a very comfortable quote, sir. <laughs> I put a lot of, of, of uh, personal experiences. In what way? I was a Moscow student. I studied radio productions, journalism, and TV productions. Somehow, even if I haven't really experienced doing that professionally, I have experienced doing that in the school through my uh, uh, practicum and, and uh, associations with the professionals and we grew up watching uh, radio journalists we grew up watching uh, television anchors there are a lot of, of resources to be used so it's not for me it's an advantage and I used all, the, all of those uh, materials so I incorporated all those experiences and since I am not CISOI I have I still have to create him a unique person, an original, an iconic uh, character in his particular milieu. Because uh, Sisoy is a small town superstar. And um, he thinks somehow differently the way I do. So I have to make uh, him intentionally uh, unique and original. Uh, we haven't found the, ident the, the identity of Filipinos yet. We are still very immature, politically speaking. We don't know what to fight for because we don't know who we are yet. It's a sad truth. We, we grew up for 350 years as just a second-class citizens in our own country. And then after that, uh, we became influenced by another culture while not having identified ourselves as Filipino yet. What are we trying to fight for? We don't know what it is yet. And we are an archipelago. I don't know if that's also the reason why we can actually feel each other as one. Because the regionalism is still very, very much in our, in our culture, in our society. And another thing I guess is that since we don't know our identities yet, we tend to idolize people. We try to identify ourselves with a persona, with a, an idol. We always thought that what we need is to look up to that person because that person will uh, empower us. Our, our, our citizens have experienced poverty for so long that they do not know their, what the, the social services that they, they really deserve. They always thought that being poor is just a natural, a natural thing. That being poor is families who, who don't eat three times a day. They are not even aware that the standard of living should be resolved by, by whoever is in, 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 in the government. We deserve more. Instead of realizing those needs, they're looking at different idols, I think those are the things that made us um, disunited. We should mature as people. We should uh, find our identity. Uh, we should stop idolizing people. We should realize what we need as a nation and, and as people of this nation. Uh, I'm still working on it. Right now, I, I can still use the word death. <laughs> when we're going to talk about my youngest sister, it, it, it was so sudden and I feel that it is so untimely because if we have a better situation these days, I don't think it will happen to her.
of course, I work on letting it go, letting of the pain go, but keeping the love. But I promised myself that this will not hamper the dreams that I have for my family and for them, because these people are my first fans, big fans, and they are also my biggest inspirations as an actor in everything I do as a human being. Their absence should not make me stop dreaming and doing the things that I am dreaming for myself and for my family because whatever I do, I know it, it, I, I'm also doing it for all of them. I'm, I'm transforming that grief into an inspiration so that I will uh, pursue with, with all the dreams that I know they will be more proud of me as, as, as their family. My greatest influence were actually my, my, my grandparents because I felt that they loved us so much and, and they, they were able to transfer that to, to us all because we're also like that to our siblings and, and, and nieces and, and, and uh, grandchildren. I think it, did, it actually did not change um, uh, any perception of myself. It uh, actually gave me an, an, an affirmation that I'm on the right track, that I'm, I'm after those hardships and all the lessons I've learned from, from this work of mine as an actor, they're giving you an affirmation that you're on the right track, that uh, what you're doing is, 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 is good. I mean that, that um, your dreams are being affirmed and it made me more inspired, uh, inspired to do more and to dream more and maybe bigger. A silver bear from, from Berlin or uh, an Oscar would be, would be nice. <laughs> or uh, a trophy from BAFTA, wow, I mean, you know, and we already have a palm door, but I still want to have one. My, one of my films in 2000, in 2000 Anino by, by uh, Raymond Red got a palm door. That was the very first uh, Filipino palm door ever. But as an actor, I haven't got mine yet. So that's still another dream of mine. <laughs> and I mean, they said if you dream, you dream big. So I mean, why not? <laughs> Before an actor, I am a human being first. Acting or being an actor is just a tool so that I can express my dreams for the community, for the bigger world, for, the, for humanity. Uh, I wish I can inspire people to do things that will not only make a difference, but will make this world a better place and, and, and will make this country a, a great nation. Okay, I think that's a wrap. <laughs> Ayaw mo na? Ikaw may gusto na. No, it's okay.